Hey everybody, it's already a third day. I'm glad that you made it here. This is an awesome Web 20 day challenge. My name is Tina and today we will be talking about the analytics, about the three basic metrics you should look after on your web page. And I will give you also some tips. What should you ask to your web developers, designers, marketers, UX designers to make the results out of your web page even better. From yesterday, you should have your main goal of your web page, right? And basically to achieve this main goal, you might need some smaller goals, small, small goals, smaller steps or KPIs, key performance indicators. There are a lot of, a lot of metrics in the Google Analytics which you, which you could look after. Anyway, it does not make sense if you as an entrepreneur would look after every single metric. That's why you have your marketers or data analysts, right? So there are basic three metrics which you should look after. The first one is number of visitors. The second one is a conversion rate or number of conversions. And the third one is revenue. If you cover these three, you are pretty much well done and you are able to drive your web page towards the success. What is the logic behind? There are three steps since we are talking about three metrics, right? The first step is to check if you have enough visitors of your web page, the number of visitors. If not, get more visitors. Ask your team how we can get more visitors to our web page. Is this done? Continue to step two, which is about the fact if you have enough customers or potential customers. Are the people buying your product? Does it make sense to compare it with the number of visitors? If not, there might be uh, some troubles with your website. There might be some technical issue or some the user uh, from the user experience point of view issue. Or on the other side, you might have a wrong audience. You might have wrong visitors. So you need to optimize those also. Or your product might be just too expensive. So check it out, test it and try it. Try the differences and then you will see your conversion rate should increase. You have enough visitors, you have enough conversions, but you don't have enough revenues. Well, this is the last step. You need to optimize your product. Not everybody realizes this, but this is also a very important part of the whole thing. So optimize your product and everything will be running smoothly. Also within the time, it can happen that you will need to again optimize some of these three things. And that's normal and it's natural. It always happens. You are kind of going in the circle and you need to continue running and rolling it on and count with the fact that you will need to optimize your web page, your audience and your product. Of course, there are hundreds and hundreds more metrics, detailed metrics. But these ones are usually more for your marketing team. And that's all right. If you are interested in it, go and dig into Google Analytics. You will love it. But these small metrics always should lead to the three metrics, the three steps we just talked about. And these three steps should lead to the goal of your web page. And it should be one of these three, increase revenues, reduce costs, or to win, right? So keep this in mind, follow the metrics, enjoy it, and don't forget to challenge your marketing team. Always ask them one simple question, what I always do. Why? Why is this number like this? What can you do to improve it? Or what will you do to improve it, to make it better? They know that it's challenging them. So always ask why. 
you have these three main metrics you should watch to reach your uh, to reach your main goal you have the basic question you should ask to your marketing team to bring a better results so test it out try it ask the question they will love it <laughs> and i will see you tomorrow in the next video already in the fourth day if you like the video put the thumb up and subscribe to the channel if you didn't already and I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice day.